hey everybody welcome to my channel i'm heather and today we are combining two of my favorite things in the world sharks and sewing it is currently june and shark week is coming up and that is a big fun time for our family at home we are huge shark fans and i recognize that we're lucky we're lucky to be near the ocean uh, it's not always warm enough to go into the ocean where we are, but we're lucky enough to be able to take a quick drive to the ocean and be able to experience something that I, I know not everyone will get to experience in their life. And so we're super thankful for that. We also, we love the ocean, the creatures, the coral. We're all about the environment and we know that sharks are such a big part of keeping the ocean environment healthy. And we're just we're here for it let me tell you a quick shark story before we get into what we're doing today which is so fun it's a self-drafted pattern that will be available for you all to purchase this is a sewing tutorial filled with fun shark facts like that you're 30 times more likely to die from a falling coconut than a shark attack that's right a falling coconut is more likely to harm you than a shark in the ocean so next time you're at the beach, make sure you look up to those coconut trees and uh, make sure that they're on there real good. <laughs> but so a fun shark story. We were, um, we live in one of the great white shark capitals on the Atlantic coast. Um, well, we live near it. We can drive to it basically, but we live in a state with one of the highest concentrations of great white sharks on the Atlantic seaboard in the United States, which is awesome. They also made a movie here. You guys might have seen it or heard of it. It's called Jaws. <laughs> so that's a thing. Um, and that history or culture of uh, sharks around here is definitely something that has uh, guided our love for sharks here in this house. So we were actually in the water near that. Um, and we were luckily lucky enough to see a great white shark breach out of the water luckily far enough away from us um, while there was a fishing boat nearby trying to catch fish and this great white shark they wanted that too so what a cool experience um, a way to safely see really nature at work and and have a healthy understanding and respect for the animals that call the ocean home all the time and that we're just thankful to be there with them so that's my fun shark story now what are we doing today besides telling shark facts and shark stories we are making, you guys, we're making this raw edge shark fin pouch. Oh yeah, we're doing that. So this is a pattern that I created myself um, and that I have for sale. So it's, um, there is no instructions though, I'm gonna tell you. So you do have to watch the tutorial and be familiar with sewing at least a little bit. Um, slash watch the tutorial and ask me questions whichever you're more comfortable with this is it's so easy it is so beginner friendly it's raw edge so you could you have so many different options you could edge coat to really make this look fancy um i talk about it a little bit more but you can make this into a crossbody if you just add two d-ring connectors and then you got a little crossbody fin that you could wear across your back even like or you could do a sling bag right so you could put a connector down low, a connector down high, and then you're rocking your shark fin on the front, on the back, on the side, wherever you want. There are so many options. Right, so the pattern itself does not have instructions. Um, and so you do have to watch the tutorial. So if you happen upon the pattern, it does, it's very clear in there too that there are no written instructions. Written instructions, they take a long time. They take a long time. And I just so I wanted to get this out into the wild because it's like it's amazing and shark week's coming up and i wanted people to have an opportunity to make something really cool to go along with shark week and if i waited and wrote out a pattern it would have taken a lifetime but video tutorial works for it i promise you'll get everything you need from this video here with me today we are going to go over the wristlet and the unlined so this is just the interior of the vinyl so there's no lining in there it's not like a pocket. This whole thing is the pocket, the pouch. 
you're not going to be able to fit a ton, but it's not super small either. So, um, it's a good size, but on, it's just cute. Like, hello. Hi, I'm showing up to the beach with my shark fin pouch. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get into the materials. We're going to go into the pattern pieces also, which look a lot like this here. <laughs> so cute. And, and then we're going to sew it up and I'll give you everything that you need in order to make this for yourself. We're going to come back together at the end and uh, we'll see, we'll see how we do. Thanks for joining me today. Stick around to check out the materials and the pattern and get the full instructions from this tutorial that you need to make it. All right. So here we go. For materials, you need your wave, just one of these. And then you need two fins. And what's going to be super important here is that you mirror your fins. And I'll sort of show you what I mean in a second, but you need them to match up. And your back side needs to have the cut out for the zipper. And then we have a number five zipper tape. You could use a number three, which I probably would do if I had one, but I don't. So we're going to use a number five. Oh, also our vinyls today are from Whimsical fabric design. These are uh, faux leathers and they're available for retail. And this is zipper tape from Saya Swag. And then we just have a gunmetal zipper pull. We're going to use webbing. So we're going to make our bag a wristlet today, but I will show you um, how to make a crossbody also. So I'll stop um, before we sort of sew on our wristlet connector and show you where you would put your crossbody connectors. And then we have our hardware. So we have half inch D-ring and half inch swivel hook for our wristlet. We're going to use rivets today to attach our wristlet. So we've got gunmetal rivets. We have our bag tag from Heartwood and Hyde, a nice bright teal summery color. And let me just show you I do instruct that you cut out two of page one. And so basically there are two like this and that you cut out your fin shape, uh, one of them and your second one, you cut out your wave shape. That way you don't have to sort of put them back together to try to make the whole fin. So you cut out one fin, one wave, and then your second page, is the fin is the same we're just cutting out the zipper box and that's what you're using here and so again this is where it's important to note we're just matching up our edges and we're putting the zipper box there so you don't want to say do this obviously that doesn't work you could also put it like this trace your zipper box and then you're just cutting out the zipper box from the back piece only and just really quickly we'll move some of these things out of the way I just want to show you so when you're cutting your fins when you roll it out if you put your pattern like this the first time and you trace, now the second time you're going to want to put your pattern opposite and that will ensure that they match each other. So you've put your pattern like this. So you're mirroring. That's going to be super important. And you just want to make sure when you're lining up your wave that you do it so that it matches your curves. So when you're looking at whatever, now you don't have to use gray and white, you can use whatever colors you'd like, but this you'd want to trace on this way if you're doing it from the front and if you're doing it from the back, it's upside down. So the design is face down on the back side of your vinyl. And that will give you a wave that matches the curves. Of our fin. So those things there, 
those are probably that's probably the most confusing part is just making sure that you mirror where you need to and that you line up your fabric appropriately and as long as you do that the rest of this is going to go super fast for you so let's head on over to the machine and start sewing okay so we're at the machine now and we did some prep so we put double-sided tape on the back of our wave we've put double-sided tape on the back of our bag tag and we've put our zipper pull on and put double-sided tape on both sides of our zipper tape, which we'll use shortly. What we're gonna do first is attach our wave to our front fin. Now, did you know great white sharks can swim up to 25 miles an hour and sometimes 35 miles an hour in very short bursts? That is 10 times faster than the typical human. And tiger sharks are not far behind them, averaging about 20 miles an hour in speed. So, a lot faster than we are. So we're just pulling off our double-sided tape. We're gonna use clippies too because we really don't want our wave to move while we're sewing. And so we just peeled our double-sided tape. We're gonna line up our edges and our bottom as best we can. And then we're sticking and we're just gonna clip around the sides and the back. That will help us keep these in place as we're sewing. And we're gonna start at the top of the wave that's unclipped and we're just gonna go all the way across. And we're not gonna sew along the sides or the bottom because we'll sew that in place when we sew our panel pieces together. So we're just sewing the top of our wave and we're gonna sew at a top stitch and we're gonna take it slow so that we can go along the curves without worrying that we're gonna go off or anything like that. Adjusting as needed. Curves can be a lot, but they're worth it because they make pretty cool things.
right. And like I said, we're gonna keep our clippies on because we're not sewing along the edges or the bottom. We don't wanna end up with too many stitch marks, but look at it already coming together. How cute is our little wave? All right, so we're gonna place this to the side for now. And we're gonna move on to our back panel. And that's where we're going to put our bag tag and we need to install our zipper. So we're gonna sew on our bag tag first and we're just gonna choose we're gonna choose a spot, maybe like in the middle, over here. This doesn't have a center that's gonna be super obvious, so you could pick, you know, you could do it this way, whatever you wanna do, you go for it. You can pick, make it your own. I like to just flop it over here in the big area that I know is gonna be out of all the seam allowances. Make sure it is lined up basically with the bottom, so straight with the bottom. And then we're just gonna top stitch around. Another fun shark fact, sharks can smell blood from hundreds of meters away in concentrations as low as one part per million, which for us would equate to one cent in $10,000 pretty good. Pretty impressive. There we go. Bag tag is on. Now we, we're not putting a lining in here, but you could if you wanted to. It's just a small pouch already, and so putting a lining is gonna make it smaller because you won't be able to sort of put things in the whole fin, and so that's something to consider, but if you wanted to do a lining, you could certainly do so and just make a little pocket on the inside and maybe in a future video we'll make that. Actually, you know what, maybe we'll make a crossbody version and we'll do a lining so that you sort of get the two options in full. So for today, we're doing the wristlet like we talked about already and we're gonna go unlined. So you'll just see the inside, which is fine, of the, the vinyl material. Now we're gonna put our zipper in. I have cut it bigger than we need. So I cut it at seven inches and I just like to be safe and make sure we're nice and long and in there good. And we want our zipper to close to the top. So when it's closed, the zipper pull is up here. We don't wanna close it down here. We wanna open it down, down so we can stick our hand in and then when we're going around with it on our wrist, it's nice and closed up here and none of our things are gonna fall out. So we just wanna make sure that when we close, we're closing upwards with our zipper. And then we're just gonna remove our double-sided tape. And we're gonna use that to keep our zipper tape in place as we sew. And you just wanna put your zipper basically in the middle so that you know you have space at the top and space at the bottom. Oops. 
Okay. And we're sticking. And then we're just doing a top stitch around our zipper box. We're going to make sure we move our zipper out of the way as we finagle ourselves around. Right. Now I realized as soon as I did it that I didn't set my needle down in two of the corners and so we got this little we got this little thing. So I'm just I'm going to pick that out and go over that on both corners that that happened. And this is an easy fix. We're using um a thread that's pretty similar and you'll see you won't notice that this is an issue we're gonna fix it here right quick and you just want to go into a hole that you have already sewn into and that's gonna that's gonna make this a seamless fix for you so it's not the end of the world top stitching is not always great it's not fun I always dread the top stitch because I because I'm not I know that I'm not always great at it and it's like I've done all this work and now it's gonna happen <laughs> So we're just going to trim quickly. We're going to make sure everything's sewed together and then we'll come right back together. 
Okay, so we are trimmed up. Our corners are good. Our zipper is in the way we want it. Looking good. Now we are gonna have to trim up the back. We don't want those stitches or threads to show. And we need to take down our zipper tape as well. So we're cutting, and especially here at the bottom, we don't wanna go over our zipper tape as part of the, when we're putting our bag together. And now we just wanna pull our vinyl away and we're going to seal our zipper tape just like we always do. Believe it or not, we're almost done our bag. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip our top and bottom together. And I'm gonna start clipping from these bits here. And these are the bits that we really want to line up. I'm not a super great tracer or cutter, so we're probably gonna end up a little bit off and that's totally fine. It's just we want to be pretty close in the areas um, that are more difficult to trim up. And obviously know your machine. We're going through three layers of vinyl. And so if you feel like your machine is gonna struggle with that, just pick your materials. Um, and we're only going through three here at the bottom. But pick your materials, understanding that this is a raw edge project. And so this is our final construction. So your stitches are gonna show and you just want to make sure you're being as successful as possible. And we can trim up anything that doesn't match. So definitely don't need to worry about that. This vinyl or faux leather, it does have a little bit of stretch to it. So you do want to think about that. That can sometimes cause you to go a little bit off. Now we want to put our D-ring connector in. So we're just cutting two inches on our webbing. Sealing. Put our D-ring on. And we're gonna go up here so that when you carry your bag, it carries like that. And I just, I have my webbing a little offset on purpose. It just makes it easier to sew through. I'm gonna put it in a little bit more. Okay, so then when you're carrying your bag, it's gonna hang like this. Now, if you are doing a crossbody option, what you would want to do is put your connectors at the same level on both sides up here. So we would probably go a little bit above our little crick in our fin and then directly across. So you'd measure down and put them in the same level so that your fin is gonna hang pretty similarly for you on both sides. Now, another fun shark fact before we sew this baby up Based on fossil scales found in Australia and the United States, scientists hypothesize sharks first appeared in the ocean around 455 million years ago. You guys, that's a long time. 
455 million years. Congratulations to the sharks for making it as long as they have. Now, of course, part of this video is bringing some knowledge about sharks and we really don't want sharks to disappear from the oceans. They've been around for 455 million years and honestly, who are we to decide that that's long enough? So we'll keep that in mind as we move on. So we have our D-ring in. We're gonna leave that be. I'm gonna start and stop on the base of our shark fin bag here because we have this white, so you won't see the back stitching that we do or anything like that, at least on the front side. And we're just gonna sew um, about an eighth of an inch from the edge. You're basically doing a top stitch all the way around. Um, potentially a little larger depending on your comfort level, um, your fabrics, etc. So again, whatever you do you. We're going for it. We're gonna go all the way around our bag. And because this is fabric that's a little bit stretchy, I'm just using this to make sure our fabric basically stays where we want it to and doesn't stretch out as we're sewing it. Not fabric, vinyl. You, you guys know what I mean. Our material. guys so we're sewed up our little shark fin is looking so cute so now what we'll do is see any of these areas that didn't match up when we sewed 
We are gonna trim our threads. We're gonna cut off anything extra and we're just gonna like shore this up so that it's ready to go. And then after we do that, we're gonna take our webbing and we're gonna, I always cut my wristlet straps about 14 inches. I like them to hang a little bit and it makes it so that no matter the person's hand size, wrist size, whatever, it's still gonna be comfy. So we're gonna cut our webbing at 14 inches for our wristlet strap. We're gonna attach our swivel hook and we're gonna make our wristlet to attach to the bag. So we're gonna do those things and then we're gonna finish up at the finish table together. Oh, and another shark fact. Before we go over there, the largest fish in the world at 55.7 feet, do you know? It's the whale shark. Oh, I can't wait to swim with those things. Um, so they are totally harmless to humans. They eat plankton. And uh, a lot of people actually have um, decided that swimming with whale sharks is a fun activity and that sort of tourism to view them and learn about them has really taken off in a few countries, including the United States where we are. So um, they're basically found in tropical waters. Now where we are in Northeast Massachusetts, they have the basking shark, which is the second largest shark. And a lot of people mistake that for like a great white, a megalodon, uh, even though those don't exist, you guys. We're trying to talk facts here, not what I wish was true. And um, they, the, the basking sharks are, are pretty big also, but the whale sharks, they're spotted, they're beautiful. If you have never seen one, definitely check them out. Um, there are, there's actually an aquarium in Georgia that has whale sharks in it, and you can swim with them in the aquarium in like a controlled environment, which is a really cool experience if you're somebody who's afraid of deep water or not a big fan of boats or getting out into the ocean and whatever else might be around you besides the whale sharks. So, fun fact. All right, you guys, let's head to the finish table now, for real. Yeah, you guys. Okay, we're at the end. We're at the end. Uh, you saw this at the beginning, I know, but oh my God. Okay, so we're at the finish table and before we go over anything, I just, when you cut, when you have raw edge projects and you're not using a, um, you're not sealing them up, you do just want to just take a, a lighter to all of your edges and that will take away any of those little, little bits from the backing of your vinyl. All vinyl has little bits on it and it'll basically like seal them out. So that's one of the finishing steps that I just wanted to make sure we noted. We have our pouch. We're all sewn together. We just trimmed up anything that didn't match. This is why raw edge projects are so fast and fun because you don't have to be exact. You can trim it up after the fact. And we have our fin. We also have one more fun shark fact for you. Um, I guess it's not fun, but it's important. So one of the reasons we made this video is to just bring attention to the fact that sharks really need our help. Many of the shark species that we're going to watch on TV over the course of the summer um, or that people talk about every day or that you might see if you're also near an ocean, they're endangered. And I think that that's really important to note. There are 40% um, of shark species are endangered, including the great hammerhead, which is critically endangered. And if you've never seen one of those, check out a video on them because they're amazing. The sand tiger shark, also critically endangered, sandbar shark, black tip reef shark, a silky shark, and nurse sharks are just a few examples of sharks that are either critically endangered, endangered, or vulnerable in that 40% list. And a lot of that is from overfishing. Climate change plays a role in that. And there are still folks in the world who kill sharks for food. And so, Obviously, this video today is meant to bring some awareness to sharks um, and how important they are to our entire ecosystem, not just the ocean ecosystem. Um, and, you know, for fun. Who doesn't like sharks and sewing, you guys, right? I so hope that you will try this pouch and that you'll tell me what you think of it. It is maybe one of the things that I'm most proud of. Um, drafting this pattern for one of my favorite animals. Um, and you know, it's easy, beginner friendly, super fast. You could, you could do a bunch of these. Um, you could give them out as gifts. 
you could be the coolest person to roll up to the beach uh, with your shark fin pouch. You could make it a sling bag for a young person or even yourself. And again, roll up with a shark fin on your back. So there's not much cooler than that. I mean, there probably is, but you know, for me, <laughs> there's not. So thank you so much for joining me um, and watching as we sew together something that was super fun for me to make and really important for me also. Thanks for sticking through my fun shark facts as well. And I hope that you will participate in some shark activities coming up this summer. I also hope that you will try this pattern for yourself. I would love to see if you do. I really would love to see any variations that you make. And I'll do another one where we make either a sling or a crossbody bag. And we'll do a lining on the inside and sort of zhuzh it up a little bit. And we'll do sort of bougie shark fin uh, since this was a... This is a regular shark fin. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon.